Hi, my name is Linda Goniak. I'm a PhD student at the Institute of Medical Informatics in Münster, and I'd like to present you the topic of my poster. ReproSnip is a tool that I developed to make variation data from the UK Biobank accessible and easy to filter for one special medical interest. The UK Biobank offers a large amount of data of nearly half a million participants. These include, for example, phenotype and genotype data, as well as imaging data. Thereby, the UK Biobank is a very valuable resource for medical research. However, when it comes to analyzing variant phenotype relationships, it can be quite challenging to analyze it for complex and heterogeneous diseases. Therefore, we develop a tool that enables an easy exploration and filtering of the UK Biobank variation data by combining multiple information and phenotypes from the participants. One example for such a complex condition is male infertility. Around 7% of men worldwide are estimated to be affected by infertility. And interestingly, in 60 to 70% of cases, the cause remains unknown, which makes male infertility a very interesting research topic. While there are some participants with this diagnosis in the UKB cohort, the count is very low and we suspect that a lot of undiagnosed participants are among the cohort. And therefore, we wanted to be able to include more phenotypes and participant information to find potentially infertile patients and associated variants. So the basic idea of ReproSnip is to create two cohorts to compare variation data. One is a supposed fertile cohort. These are men that have at least one self-reported child and no infertility diagnosis. The other cohort consists of men that have no children and also includes those with and without infertility diagnosis. We call this cohort the childless cohort. With our tool, the users are able to compare these cohorts at their special locus of interest. For example, a gene, and then get genotype counts and allele frequencies and more information about the variants within this genomic range. ReproSnip was implemented in R Shiny, but also uses some other tools in the backend. I integrated Vgenics to filter the available variants to the range of interest, and Pling2 was used to filter the data set to matching participants, which makes the search quicker and also more efficient. Link2 was also used to determine uh, genotype and allele counts in the two cohorts. The variants are annotated with the R package Biomart and the statistical analysis was also performed with different R packages. The results are then displayed as table in the user interface. Here you can see the main output of ReproSnip. On the side, the user can select a genomic range of interest and if necessary, click a leftover option. Below, two cohorts can be defined by the user, which are um, by default the cohorts that I just showed you. The main panel consists of the resulting variants within the genomic range in the two cohorts. The variants are annotated to RS IDs, which are linked to the matching database entry in dbSNP. There's also the option to search for this variant, variant in the ClinVar database, and the potential clinical significance is also annotated and displayed in the table. Then we see three different allele frequencies, one in the first cohort, um, another one in the second cohort, and then also the respective allele frequency from the dbSNP database. The table also contains information about the genotype counts in the two cohorts, and there's also the option to expand the table to see more information, like the statistical analysis, which consists um, of a Fisher's exact test and an additional Bonferroni correction related to all variants in the selected genomic range to find differences in the allele counts between the cohorts. 
The user is also able to download the results as TSV file for use in downstream analysis. As you have seen, RepoSnip is very user-friendly and offers an easy method to analyze phenotype-associated variants. The user can define unique cohorts depending on their research interest and thereby make the most of a huge dataset provided by the UK Biobank. RepoSnip can be applied for the research of complex conditions, shown here with the example of male infertility. It also offers a download section for more advanced downstream analysis. We are planning to integrate more phenotypes for other conditions and also to have a more advanced search where the user is able to enter more than two cohorts and larger genomic ranges. Thank you very much for listening to my talk. Here are some of the main references that are used on my poster and in this presentation. And you can find more resources and a full list of references on the project's GitHub page and, of course, on my poster. <laughs>